Hi everybody, uh, my name's Idris Evans, I'm the superintendent here at the West Australian Golf Club. I've been a superintendent of the club now for the last 26 years. Uh, I've been employed at the club for close to 36 years, so I started when I was quite young and worked my way up through the ranks. The day typically begins for me, I get out of bed at about 20 to 5, I get here at about 10 to 5 and uh, get my trusty coffee first up. Can't start the day without it. Uh, and you'll know if I don't because I'm grumpy. Generally, each day consists of a different challenge for us. Obviously, the first thing we always take care of is mowing greens, changing holes. And that's always on the cards. We change holes six days a week. Mowing greens every day and then the other things that take into account are certain days, obviously, depending on the competition, is we mow fairways and mow surrounds. Bunkers take up a huge amount of our time. Um, contrary to everyone's belief, the, the biggest challenge we have on the golf course, keeping them clean, obviously, is a challenge at certain times of the year. Um, members like, some like them soft, some like them hard, some like them fluffy, um, but that's a big challenge for us. We spend more man hours in a week on bunkers probably than any other um, part of the golf course. With 11 staff, there's a lot of challenges involved there. There's personalities and keeping everyone happy, but also just managing time is, is a huge challenge these days. And with safety in mind and carrying out all the tasks safely and efficiently and staying in front of the golfers. The other thing we have to consider here at the golf course too is noise. Noise is a huge concern for us now. Um, we're boarded by about 110 houses and everyone basically you know, knows the law these days. In terms of that, I've got a great crew of guys. My 2IC has been here for close to 30 years and my irrigation assistant's close to 27 years. Okay, today consists of basically we're changing holes, mowing greens, rolling greens. Um, we groomed greens yesterday, so we took thin the surfaces out, so we want to roll them and iron them out to make them look smoother today. Um, we'll be applying a fungicide application, part of our preventative program. This time of year with all the heat and stress that the golf course receives, the greens are pretty important. Um, that's what keeps me up at night, um, keeping them healthy. So we'll be applying a fungicide on the greens this morning as a plant protection program. Um, and breaking bunkers, and then once we get the course set up, we'll go away and um, get stuck into some other smaller tasks around the golf course. Today being, in, I think, forecast for 36, 37 degrees, um, with a few hand hoses going out later on in the afternoon. Right here we are standing on the 11th green. Probably one of my favourite greens, uh, mainly because of the challenges of the green contour offers. Um, when the greens get a little bit slippery and quick, um, it's good fun to basically sometimes put a pin placement in a challenging spot. If you don't know, the green's got a lot of slope from it, from back to front, and it does have a lot of break in it. So when the greens do get quick, um, we can basically set up the, the green, and it can be a tricky pin placement. Members know it, visitors sometimes get surprised, but it's always nice to watch um, Someone putting down the hill on 11 and they're surprised when the ball rolls about 9 feet past the pin. 